Hello everyone, my name's Nisha and I am the Yoga Amnesiac. We are back playing The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Um, I'm trying to get a good view of his face, but I'm just walking into stuff. So, where we left off, we had just found the Marquis' missing necklace, or Marquis, depending on who you are and where you're from in the world. And now we're moving on to bigger and better things. Uh, we just finished a cutscene and Watson told us that we should read the newspaper, so I suppose we'll do that. Sherlock Holmes at the home of the Marquess of Conningham. The investigation is a fiasco. Yesterday, the celebrated detective Sherlock Holmes was invited to the manor of the Marquess of Conningham to supply his conclusions. Following his investigation into the disappearance of the priceless Samoan necklace, it should be recalled that the lady called in the detective after the police appeared fluxumed in the face of the astonishing circumstances surrounding the theft. Indeed, the valuable piece of jewelry disappeared while the door to the room in which it was displayed was locked. The alarm was raised by the servants, alerted by the room service bell ringing out. During the night, when the Marquis, the only person in possession of the key, opened the door, everyone rushed in to extinguish a fire that had started before it was noticed that the necklace had mysteriously vanished. The most astonishing fact is that no thief was found within the room and all of the exits were closed. As usual, Mr. Holmes resolved the case in the twinkling of an eye and the jewel was recovered. It will not waste my time... Wait. I will not waste my time on the various explanations as to the disappearance because I would prefer to draw your attention, dear readers, to the last surprising developments in the case. Following the departure of Sherlock Holmes, who placed the necklace in the safe himself, the Marquis noticed that the jewel was nothing but a poor copy of the original. Let it not be forgotten that the Samoan necklace, although plain and without ornament, is unique because of the rarity of its pearls. Pearls are found only in the small part of the lagoon in the arch archipelago of the same name, and to which scientists attribute their exceptional quality to the strong density of the crystal of argonite that they are made of. The priceless necklace oh, brought here at the beginning of the century by Lord Fenton Arwick. Uh, I'm going to stop reading now because I think the rest is just pointing figures and saying that Sherlock Holmes um, was the one who replaced it with a fake. So you can pause and read if you really want to read it. I'm not going to read all of this, which is probably what will happen in a lot because there's a lot of reading, so it'll probably be easier. Uh, my goodness, this is so long. Okay, there's the end. To be continued. Um, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, this isn't even... Okay, that's not the same thing. Okay, so, Hence moving Lord right Vell, along. French culinary expert and bagpipe player might be our next king. Well, that's not so shocking, my dear fellow. You know exactly to which article I'm referring, Holmes. How can Farley dare to tarnish your reputation like that? You know, Watson, that wherever glory walks, jealousy is bound to follow. As for the forgery of the necklace, I suspect that we shall soon be enlightened in this regard. Come in, Inspector Baines. The door's open. Ah, Mr. Holmes. How did you know I was here? You are one of our rare visitors who avoids the second to last step of the stairs, which creaks dreadfully. And if I add the clinking of the handcuffs at your belt, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Inspector? Have you read that, Rag? I think I could choose Inspector, all of these. Inspector, can you explain this slander? Has the necklace of the Samoas really been replaced by a fake? I don't know how the reporter got hold of the information, but it's true. About the necklace, of course. I wouldn't permit myself to question the integrity and honesty of Mr. Holmes. The necklace is a forgery? Impossible! I saw the Marquis authenticated before my very eyes, before Holmes returned it to its place. Mr. Holmes, the Marquis believes Osmond Farley's theory. I shouldn't be surprised if the reporter isn't behind all this slander about you. He's a freelancer, well known for his explosive and subjective articles. In any case, the Marquis assures us that you were the last person to have the necklace in your hands. Let's return to the Marquis's house, Holmes. I'm sure that we'll have no trouble in taking apart this theory. It is unnecessary. Such allegations collapse on their own, 
like one of Mrs. Hudson's souffles. Let us leave the police to solve this problem and turn our attention to the matters in hand. Perhaps you are right, Holmes. Inspector, I assume that you have the fake necklace with you. It's why you're here. Your superiors would like me to examine it. Indeed. They would like you to confirm or deny putting this fake in the box. Can't that wait? I must go to the house of Lord Peregrine Maitland, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. Yeah, we can go through all of these. She is beside herself. Without the necklace, her marriage is compromised. It is the principal item of the young woman's dowry. What a lovely marriage. That's what I was going to say, Watson. Thank you. Holmes, forgive me for insisting, but don't you want to examine the fake jewelry? Watson, I have an appointment, and it's out of the question that I arrive late. It will only take you a couple of minutes. You really must quell the suspicions put forward in this appalling article. If you will allow me, Inspector, be my guest. Very well. I think this is a little bit more of a tutorial to teach you about puzzles. Can you, why aren't you letting me choose anything? Oh, maybe it's, okay, that's weird. It wasn't letting me choose for some reason. So we get to inspect the necklace now and we get to look at it and look on all sides and we have to look for defective pearls. So obviously this one's too small. Oops. This pearl is too small. It is not in its place here. Um, yeah, there's three pearls, I think, that we have to look at. This pearl is a different color. And? These three pearls are of poor quality. Too many defects. This necklace is a fake. Yep. This is nothing but a vulgar copy. And at a glance, it would appear that the forger has intended for it to be seen as such. How could we have been fooled by such a blatant imitation? I don't understand. Yes, how is it possible? Holmes, do you have a theory about this? I have absolutely no idea. You insisted that I examine the necklace, and I have done so. Now it is important that I keep my appointment. I'm sure, Inspector, that you will throw some light on this affair. Oh, Holmes. You may accompany me, Watson, if you care to do so. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'll keep you informed as to my inquiries. Goodbye, Inspector. I'm not sure why the inspector just pointed and said Mentioned Holmes. The bishop, didn't you? Are we going to his home? Yes, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. I put his address on our map of London on my desk. Would you get it for me, please? All right, Holmes. So in this wonderful game, we can control both Sherlock Holmes and Watson. And um, Watson gets to do pretty much all the dirty work for Sherlock Holmes, like picking up a map off his desk because apparently Sherlock Holmes can't do that himself. The map is how you navigate from one place to another, pretty easy, and you can just open it in your map at any time. One thing I do wanna say about this game before we get on too far is that it's super glitchy and it's not very well programmed, but obviously the load times are really, the really good. Already? How did you know? May we see the Bishop of Knightsbridge? Yes. Yes, of course. But come in. What has happened, Reverend? What? I... I don't know. It was last night, I think. I only just arrived. And I have made this macabre discovery. My God. How horrible. I haven't called anyone. How did you know that? Holmes, look! The bishop, appallingly mutilated. How dreadful. Mutilated and killed. He was such a good man. How could anyone be so brutal? Look at him. He is barely recognizable now. How could any of God's children be responsible for that? They were evidently unworthy children, Reverend. Now do please try to calm yourself and focus, because we will need your assistance. Do you have any idea as to the motive behind this? I haven't had time to do an inventory, but nothing appears to have been stolen. And anyway, His Excellency didn't own anything of great value. I don't know what else I can tell you. Note this down, please, Doctor. Doctor? But you aren't the police? No, Reverend. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We are here at the request of the Bishop. In that case, I must ask you to leave, and not to touch anything. I must get in touch with the authorities without further delay. 
Uh, Reverend, when the inspectors of Scotland Yard find themselves at a dead end, which they quite often do, I assure you, then they turn to me for help. If you will allow us to continue our investigation, then you shall have the answers to all of your questions. Out of the question! I don't even know you! I'm going to call the police, whether you like it or not. It would be better for everyone, Reverend, if you kept your temper. Watson, are you taking notes? This affair promises to be a complex one. Therefore, we must not overlook the slightest detail. Yes, Holmes. I am keeping a meticulous set of notes. I have created a very clever deduction board. One thing we can be sure of at the moment is that this crime was not for gain. The Reverend has informed us that nothing valuable was stolen. And indeed, it would seem that the Bishop had nothing of any worth to take. Very good, Watson. Do continue. Um, Sherlock Holmes reminds me a lot of one of my friends. Not so much anymore, but he looks a lot like him and he like won't make eye contact all the time. So, it's pretty funny. This is the deduction board. There's nothing on it right now, but you just make, you know, connections and we'll see how it works a little bit more later, but they just open it for some reason here. Anyway, I'm gonna just give you guys a heads up. If you're squeamish, this is not super pretty to look at. I will say the graphics are not amazing, but if you really don't like looking at this kind of stuff, you're not gonna enjoy this. So, <laughs> just so you know, it's about to get nasty. <laughs> so we can just, let's look at his face first, I guess. Start from the top and work our way down. You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. His mouth is covered in blood, and I can make out strips of skin between his teeth. Yeah, well, some things also may not look that bad because the graphics aren't super good. He'll describe it, so that doesn't help. His chest has been lacerated, I would say, with a very sharp and fine blade. Um, I do believe that is all to examine on his face. And yeah, see, it'll turn green, and we can move down to his hands. This is pretty gnarly. <laughs> his fingers are all bent back. The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. And you can see, like, there's flesh missing on the back of his hands. It's... it's bad. The fingers have been crushed <clears throat> and violently struck. One thing is that you'll notice... okay, Sherlock Holmes does that. He will say the same thing for, like, what he did there and then what he did on the other hand. He said the same thing, but you still have a blue little magnifying glass. And you have to look at both of them to get a green magnifying glass for the whole thing. So it's really annoying, but you have to do that. His stomach is covered in scratches. Quite evidently, they weren't made recently. So, these wounds were not made by his murderers. And... oh no, I have to get the rope. A piece of rope that was used to tie up that poor man. And let's see if... there. His forearms have been ripped. Pieces of skin have been torn off. What do you think, Watson? I'd say that he was eaten alive. Yet I've noticed a curious degeneration of the skin tissue around the wounds. My dear friend, everything points to this man having gnawed at his own forearms. That's unbelievable, Holmes. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Cannibalism is one thing, but eating your own flesh is kind of a whole nother level. These burns are terrible. They are terrible. His feet have been burned. Hmm. My first impression is that he wears a size 9 shoe. You? But what does it matter, Holmes? Oh, Sherlock. Always looking for the important things. A finger. Apparently, it doesn't belong to the Bishop of Knightsbridge. Yeah, if you... How dreadful. If you remember, when we looked at his hands, they were all beat up, but he did have all of his fingers, so... That's really nasty. Oh, and the rope. Okay. This poor man was tied just below the knee. That's more like just above the ankles. Walking, certainly, but mostly to free his feet. My God, Holmes, this man was horribly tortured. Yes, yes, he was, Watson. I think we're done inspecting him. Yeah. But, nope. Can't look at anything else. Just him. Okay, great. So. Something is missing here. Something's missing. Oh, yes? 
And what might that be? His shoes. Watson, his shoes are missing. Yes. So, as you know, Sherlock Holmes will look and see the less obvious options. This stove is filled to overflowing. All right, let's finish examining this little corner. I didn't mean to press that button. A broken bottle of whiskey. However, the Bishop of Knightsbridge was known for his sobriety. Apparently he wasn't. A bottle of whiskey. I can make out fingerprints stained with blood and dirt. It would seem that the brutes who tortured the bishop to death were intoxicated with alcohol. There is blood on this paperweight. This paperweight was used to crush the victim's fingers. A lot of times Sherlock will just say stuff like, oh, there's this, and you're like, yeah, I can see that, thank you, but I guess they have to tell you somehow. Anyway, I think this is a good place to stop for now so that this video doesn't go on too long. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff down below. And I will see you all in the next video.